It really was a very, very, very hard decision. Probably the hardest decision in my career. Uh, I already have decided to, to quit the Thailand national team uh, after the World Cup. Uh, I thought uh, that the team the, need a chance. Uh, after the World Cup, will be good that uh, will be good that a new coach is coming with new ideas, with with new system, with new proposal for the players. And I thought that uh, will be very good for uh, both parts uh, a chance. But in the last few months, uh, happened a few things that finally bring me to 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 to, to take this hard hard decision. Um, it's not maybe the way that I expect uh, or the way that I would like to to leave Thailand national team. But sometimes the the things are. Are like happens in, in the way that someone don't expect. No? Uh, really, I feel sad, but is the is how the the life is coming. Uh, I, I feel very very sad, as I, I told you in the I answered you in the in the first question. No, uh, for me this uh, could be the the third World Cup. Um, uh, I have when I come back uh, four years ago. Uh, I have plans to, to, to well, my target was to go to this World Cup with the generation that I started like 10, 11 years ago, players like Crisada Goncrao, like Supergood, uh, like uh, Giraguat, like Jesada, like Mandialan, not a good Mandialan. Uh, a lot of players that start 10, 11 years ago uh, with me. And really, I, I want to play this uh, third World Cup with, uh, with them and really say goodbye to the Thai futsal with this generation. Uh, for that, for me, uh, as I said before, was very difficult the, the last few weeks to, to take this, this decision, but uh, sometimes happens things that uh, uh, you cannot control, like this case. The health of Thai Futsal is, is very good. No? Thai Futsal is very strong, it's one of the top teams in Asia, one of the top teams in the world. In the last few years we always was, uh, was in the top 20 of the world. This uh, is the result of, uh, of a good world for the last 20 years uh, with the national team. No? There is many coaches that have been working, um, a good plan, a good plan and a good work for, for two persons. No? Adisak ben Wang and Marika Rikbal that uh, keep working hard for the last 20 years. They are spending a lot of money, a lot of uh, uh, headed to, to bring food Thai futsal where it's uh, where it's now. No? Then uh, really, uh, I think that the present of the Thai futsal is very good, and the future, of course, uh, is very good as well. No? Thai futsal um, now every year the league is stronger. Every year there is better players. The the the, the young players start to play. Uh, before and um, you know, um, I know that Thai Futsal will be a lot of success in, in the next years. About the players, I cannot choose only one player. You know? Really, uh, I consider all of them like my sons or like my um, brothers. You no, know? I have I have been working in the last uh, 12 years with I cannot say more than 200 or 300 players in the national team. For I think I work with already five generations of Thai, thai players, you know, then I really love all of them, I really like all of them and really cannot choose only one. You know? uh, I have a, a, a lot, it's like you cannot choose one son, you know? this is the same, or one brother. I love all of them and really I'm going to miss all of them. I think the, the target should be um, try to pass the, 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 the group around at least go to the best uh, 16 teams and you know if they get to go to the you know uh, last eight teams this will be a big 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 success no but i think uh, they should try at least um, go to the to the second round qualify for the group stage don't gonna be easy the the the, um, the, the group that thailand have is is quite strong portugal is very strong and morocco the people don't know Morocco, but Morocco is very strong, and Islas Solomon don't gonna be easy. Them don't gonna be a easy, a easy jet target, but I hope that uh, they can be in the best 16. And why not? We, we can ring with the with the best eight teams. Let's see what happens. 
for the moment, I didn't decide where I will go uh, yet. Uh, it's true that I have a, an offer from, from Benfica, from Portugal, uh, but I have another good offer from China, for one club from China. I have something from the Middle East as well. Um, I still didn't decide. In the next few days, um, I, I will decide what is the, the, the next step, the next chapter, um, chapter of my life. Um, let's see. Thailand is my second home, no, it's my second country. I have lived in Thailand for almost 11 years. Then, you know, I love Thailand. Then, uh, I, you cannot say what's gonna happen in the future. But at the moment, I think for, for Thai futsal, for the Thai players, it's good to have a new coach with new ideas, with a different system, with a different point of view. And I think because, uh, uh, who gonna make strong one, one futsal or one, uh, one person is to have different point of view, different sources of, of to learn. You know? Then I think it's the moment to after the World Cup for a, for a change in the national team with with another way, another style, uh, and this is gonna get that the the, the Thai players become stronger you know? uh, if they learn from different sources. Uh, now I see it difficult to come back to Thailand, but uh, in the future you never know what, what uh, can happen. As I told you, I love I love Thailand, and for sure I will come back here only for holidays. As I say in the previous question, you know I love Thailand. You know, it's, uh, after uh, I live one quarter of my life in, in Thailand. You know, then uh, you know it's for me it's. Uh, Thailand always gonna be in my heart, you know. It's like every time that I I listen the the, the Thai national anthem, I feel something, you know. For me, it's, it's again my second home, you know. Then I never gonna forget Thailand. Thailand changed my life. Um, for sure, I will return uh, to Thailand, even only for for holidays or to visit friends. Um, and you know, I never will forget what I. Uh, all the things that happens to me in Thailand, everything was good, you know. And then, for sure, I'm gonna miss uh, Thailand. I'm gonna miss Bangkok. I'm gonna miss Thai fans. I'm gonna miss everyone there. To the Thai fans, I only can say thank you. Thank you for these 11 years. Really, you know, I feel like at home. Uh, you, you always make makes me feel well. Uh, I really. Uh, gonna miss all of you the players the people everything you know uh, Thailand as I tell before changed my life I gonna always gonna have Thailand in my heart um, really uh, now I gonna become another Thai fan you know I gonna support Thai national team from from TV uh, I really gonna push hard from from far away but I was supporting the team and really wish all the best for the Thai futsal Susu Thailand